Hello everyone and welcome to the Jarvis Ranger Review. And this time we'll be looking at the 6th episode of Super Mega Force, Spirit of the Tiger. So it's just off the rangers visiting a zoo because different location I guess. And there's one guy just calmly uh, raking in the tiger habitat they have there. And the crowd there is pretty amazed that he just they are calmly doing this thing. Without paying them any attention, because you know, tigers can be ferocious. And for the next couple minutes, uh, Emma's taking pictures of the animals with a big montage. And once they go to, out of the way to show are actually the spirit animals from Wild Force. I mean, Jungle Fury, or Geki Ranger if you want to go to the Sentai route. And so while they're uh, eating lunch, uh, Noah's going over a bunch of uh, animal trivia. When Gia notices that the guy has, uh, has a claw logo on his jacket. Very familiar looking one at that. But then back at the Armada, a new commander called Pacha Chamik, who even Vekar is unsure how to pronounce at first, claims he's undefeated. And so now his task is to go right after the Rangers. Yeah, I guess you'll learn your lesson that time, uh, Vekar. If the Rangers are there, do something about them. Don't just try to act like they're not there, like you did a couple episodes ago. But before he starts his attack, uh, Jake is walking with Emma, he's trying to find out about Gia, because he's still trying to get with her. Then they see a guy uh, teaching some sort of kung fu class outside, and Emma gets a look at him and knows that he's the Tiger Man from before. And he quickly explains that he teaches people how to harness the animal spirits, so that they can move based on instinct. But before they can go anymore, Pachachak begins his attack. So the whole rangers go after him. This time starting out as Mega Force, and before they actually start to attack, they go right into the Super Mega Force. When he just kinda of dish the Mega Force suits all together, they're not needed anymore. So after taking out uh, the x borgs like usual, the guy uses some magnetism power to pull their weapons away from them. And he has really stretchy arms that he can use to punch out the rangers. So to try to counter this, they go up into the wild force to get up close and start attacking him. At which point he just retreats. Of course, Vecca is disappointed, so uh, Lavira gives him a uh, power booster so he can keep on fighting. But back on Earth, uh, Troy is really pissed off that they lost their weapons. He says the Ranger never lets go of his weapons, which is really like uncharacteristic of him to be that upset. But she's when he's already pretty well trained to fight without them. Seems really odd that's what would get him so angry over the battle. And then Noah is looking to try to make a new weapon. And then Gia notices some sort of claw logo in the Ranger archives. She says he's seen it before. And Emma and Jake recognize it as from the Tiger Man. So they run right off to the zoo. They find him and it's the same guy from earlier. So after some talking, they get him to be some his students. But they ask him to help bring some tools to the tiger cage first. And when they get there, he says, Yeah, they just ate a half hour ago. They won't need you. How cool you are, Mr. Tiger. And finally, he says to meet them at the park before dawn. And so they get there, and he's waiting for them meditating. And so he teaches them some Pai Shua fighting. Which, if you ever saw Jungle Fury, was a form of martial arts that they were practicing throughout the whole season. Now Noah wakes up after passing out from all night research trying to make a new weapon, and Troy still says no, Rangers has to keep their weapons. Really, this is the dumbest thing Troy has ever done. Especially since they have the new Ranger keys where they can access weapons from all different sorts of Rangers, he still says that. It's just so bizarre, and it's like there's no reason for him to be saying that at all. Either as for the situation, or because it just doesn't fit Troy's character. Especially since the past few episodes when fighting the X-Borgs, they're constantly swapping off different weapons. Anyway, Jake and Emma finish up their training, and it's a bit of glow to them. And so then he reveals to them that he did it so he could find out what their spirits are. And what else going on, uh, Pasha Chavik is breaking down buildings, and the other rangers actually had a pretty interesting strategy. They let him try to they let him try to take their weapons and held on to them so they get right up and close to him. Which works for about 5 seconds after he pushes them off and blasts them with a new hand cannon. So then while they're training, uh, the morphers start ringing. And then he asks uh, what he's gonna do if they're gonna answer the morphers. Then they look at him and he's like, how'd you know that? And finally he reveals himself to be uh, Casey, the Red Ranger from Wild Force. 
And since they don't have time to be amazed, they go straight into battle. And this time they really tap into the animal power and use the Jungle Fury purple and white forms, while the rest of the rangers have the other three. And this time Pacha can't fight back, they're just dodging all of his attacks and just fighting him straight and up and close and personal. And then they finish him using their weapons with the Super Mega Blast. And then the Megazord battle was really disappointing. I mean, he just deflects the Cannon Blast. And then they say they have to use their new skills applied to the Megazord. And so they start uh, moving off his, his moves, but not really hurting him any. But then the Jungle Fury keys glow, and they just let loose the Animal Spirit Zords all at once and just destroy him quickly. It really lasts like maybe two minutes top. And that's a shame because the fight was going pretty good up until that point. So in the map to map, they go to find Casey to so at least thank him for helping out, but they can't find him. But Troy compliments on how amazed he is that they taught him a lesson and learned new skills themselves. Well, if you didn't become a dumbass so in this episode, you wouldn't have have had to learn anything. This is like the worst moment for uh, Troy this episode. And that episode ends with uh, Casey being shown, he bows, and then disappears. Now this is a really good episode, and it does exactly what I wanted it to do as I said at the end of the last review. Previous Rangers are mentoring the new ones, and it's just not from Noah recognizing them from the computer. There was actually a development with the characters. And we finally had something that focused on Emma that didn't revolve around here liking flowers or taking pictures. That alone is a breath of fresh share. I don't remember Jungle Fury too much. I kind of never revisited it. But I remember that Casey was struggling to learn it. Didn't get his Master Stripes thing at first at, at one point. So to know that he's uh, grown and is now a full-fledged master himself is something good to see. Is that, because in a way that's continuing on from Jungle Fury, not just having someone make a cameo like before. And it was an interesting enemy to fight too, and I like that. They actually had to think outside the box how to fight him. But really, the only thing I don't like about this episode was Troy, who was my favorite of the Rangers usually. It's just so strange for him to talk like that about his weapons, when he's trained himself to fight blindly. As we saw last season, I think they just had him say that just to add to, I don't know, the tension, but it just came off as, what the hell got into you, man? But anyway, this is a really good episode. I liked it a lot. It makes me wonder what kind of surprises from the past we'll see next time. Well, we'll find out pretty soon. Until then, I'm Jargazil, thanks for watching, and may the power protect you.